it feels a little bit weird to be holding the camera like vlogging style. I haven't done this in so, so long. I wanted to document like the kitchen renovation process and kind of share like from start, well kind of start to finish because we started this project like weeks ago in terms of you know, finding a contractor and picking all of the different finishes and like pieces and stuff like that. So that's all done. Hold please, I should have planned this better. I wanna make myself a cup of coffee and then I'll sit down and kind of chat with you guys. Okay, so what was I saying? So not necessarily from start to finish because obviously we're closer to the start of the actual project than we are of like the whole process, but I'll kind of just give you the rundown of where we started. So Mike looked around for contractors kind of gave them an idea of what we wanted because we knew we wanted to do new floors, new cabinets, you know, backsplash, countertops, like all the things we were putting, some cabinetry in our dining room. We knew we wanted to do all of that and then add in some like electrical stuff. Our kitchen doesn't have enough outlets. Um, and we have some built in like LED, almost like, I, I guess like a puck light that's like flush in the ceiling. We have a few of them, but I, as somebody who loves like interior design, I love light fixtures and there are no light fixtures or wiring for light fixtures currently in our kitchen. So we are adding that in as well. It's very easy to get carried away when you're talking about the things that you wanna do in a kitchen renovation <laughs> because you see all of these things and they sound really nice and you don't necessarily know how much everything costs. So I would suggest going about it two ways. One is like a quote with, all of your must-haves, which you have to figure out beforehand, obviously, along with your wish list items, and then just a budgetary quote that they give you based on like whatever your must-haves are. If you just give the whole list of like must-haves and wishes together and you don't know what's what and you can't separate them in your mind, and it really matters to you to be done versus just like things that would be nice to have, you're gonna get a quote back that's gonna be astronomical and it's gonna be overwhelming and it's gonna make you feel like you can't maybe financially take on the project that you can if you scale back and figure out like what you actually need and really, really want in a kitchen versus the things that are just kind of like would be nice to have. Like for us, one of those things was a pot filler. It would be really nice to have a pot filler and it would certainly look nice above the um, stove area in the grand scheme of things when we were looking at like the cost it was just gonna be really expensive when it's hard to see because you can't see where our sink is but our sink is literally like right here and our stove is right there they're they're literally like a foot apart so it's not a big deal for me to fill up a pot in the sink <laughs> and turn and put it on the stove if they were clear across the kitchen and we had a big kitchen or something then it would make sense I think to spend the money but in our case it just didn't. So figure out what your must-haves are, figure out what your wish list items are, and then get budgetary quotes both ways. How you choose your contractor is going to depend on a couple of things. So you're going to want to know their pricing, you're going to want to know their experience, their connections in the industry as far as like do they have cabinet wholesalers and countertop wholesalers that they work with regularly. Their scheduling might be important to you when they have time to actually complete the um, project somebody might be booked out for months somebody might be available almost immediately and that might be important to you and something that you have to weigh in so it's really going to depend on a variety of factors personality is also kind of important um renovations are big and they're stressful and finding somebody who can kind of be organized and on top of things um, and communicate effectively can be very very important when we're talking about something as stressful as like tearing apart your home and like living in disarray for a couple weeks until it's done our situation once we found our contractor then that's kind of when I started brainstorming what I wanted the kitchen to look like if you're working on this for yourself I would do it opposite I would start thinking about what you want your kitchen to look like and then do the whole contractor thing my husband is an eager beaver and he absolutely jumped the gun and I was not ready to do this project I wasn't it wasn't on my radar I wasn't thinking about it and then one day he came home and was like somebody's coming on Saturday to give us a quote on the kitchen so start thinking about what you'd like and it was like Wednesday and I was like ah uh. because of that the initial design that we put together back in I don't know when that was maybe it was like May or something like that ended up not being any of the things that we are doing now currently. Like I was going with a, I wanted a beige cabinet. I couldn't find the color I wanted exactly. What I wanted would have been like more custom, which would have been more expensive. So I was gonna go with their stock color, which was really darker than I had wanted. And I didn't really necessarily love the 
the cabinet face, but I was like, I could live with it. And in the grand scheme of things, that's really not how you should feel about a project as big as that. You should love all of the facets and all of the parts and pieces going into it. So put the project on hold for a few reasons. And then when we came back to it, I was like, actually, I think I want to do like an off white cabinet, not like yellow cream, but not stark white. And I want to do the gold hardware. I initially was thinking about changing the entire layout of the kitchen and doing a U shape and coming around here. Um, and instead you can see we have an opening here and then I have a peninsula that juts out from this like little wall behind us. Everybody and their mother wants us to take down this little wall. It's a little like four foot wall. <laughs> and then there's an the opening there and then there's a big opening here in the dining room. And everybody's like, just take the wall out. It's a load bearing wall. It would be very expensive to take it out and put the beam up in the ceiling. Um, and so everybody's like, so just leave the beam that's there and cut it and then put like a faux wood beam over it, make it look really pretty. And that's a great idea. And if I was somebody who wanted an open floor plan, I would absolutely do that. But here's the thing, I like a little separation. I know it's so shocking. Everybody today <laughs> wants these houses that have these like open, you know, kind of floor plans where they can see everything. I don't wanna see everything. I don't wanna see any dishes that are in the sink when I'm trying to relax for five minutes on the couch. Like I'll get some when I get some. I don't wanna see them. They're gonna stress me out. I like having a little separation in between my rooms. I'm actually gonna keep the floor plan the way it is and leave the peninsula there. Um, our overhang currently is on the wrong side, so we're gonna fix it to this side so we can have bar stools here, which will be nice for the kids um, to be able to like sit on and help at the counter. They love doing that anyway, but they drag my, my dining chair, so this way there'll already be chairs there for them. Mood boards and sometimes room mock-ups help. I'm gonna put the mood board that I put together um, up on the screen to help Mike kind of see, because he was kind of like iffy about my flooring choice. Um, and he, he even still was until it came in, but like the mood board helped him see how it could work all together. As you can see on the mood board, I'm going with gold or brushed brass hardware for the cabinetry. Um, we're doing a pattern tile. Our cabinetry, we went with a company called Fabulwood, and um, I believe the style is the galaxy style, and then the colorway we got is called linen. It continued with the brushed brass or gold in the lighting fixtures. There's gonna be sconces. There's gonna be open shelving over um, the little nook in the dining room. Getting like LED lights put into the ceiling so we don't have to have any kind of floor lamp or anything because it takes up a lot of space in here and that corner um, is going to be utilized in a different way. Um, but this wall right here with the TV is getting wallpaper. And then on both sides of the TV, we are doing like a recessed cutout. We are going to do an arch on both sides, like a long arch. There'll be two shelves kind of floating in the center of it. Obviously it has to move because we're gonna have cabinetry built in there. And I know where I'm going to put that. I'm gonna put it by the front door as like an entryway table. This is the flooring that we chose. It's got like this wood grain, like starburst, um, the wood grain is a little bit lighter than how our floors are finished, so it doesn't match up exactly, but um, it's really pretty. And then the background of the, the tile is kind of like marble. I believe this is ceramic tile. Company is Marola tile, if you're interested. Anyway, yeah, that's where we are in the process right now. We were quoted that this project in total, like demo to end, was only gonna take two weeks, so. We'll see. We'll be gone for like the first five days of it. I'm hoping that we at least come back to like finished floors and like lower cabinetry installed, but that might be asking for a lot. I have no idea how long it takes to do anything. starting the reno on saturday they're gonna start friday so i'll be home because i'm working we're not leaving until the evening for our family trip um but the kids will be out of the house and we'll get the dogs out of the house because they have to go 
to grandparents anyway for dog sitting. I'll give you a little bit of a before. I probably should have given a better before when the peninsula was still connected to the wall here. <laughs> but um, so this is the before. I should link our house tour when we first close on our house so that you could uh, <laughs> see what this kitchen looked like before we painted the kitchen cabinets because we had the whole house painted and the kitchen cabinets painted before we moved in. They were just like a dark wood before. So this is day one of demo and we are down to the studs in here. Oh, that's an ugly floor. Wow, that's what was under there, huh? <laughs> Our fridge is over there. They came to do the electrical today. So a lot of that got done. We're still waiting to do the one over the sink there. Um, but yeah, the lights in the living room are all in. And uh, it's looking it's looking good. I haven't really filmed anything, I feel like since we've been back. So a lot of this looks new. We have our floor, it's not grouted yet. Um, and our cabinetry is in. There still needs to be molding that gets put up top. That'll close it all up to the ceiling. Um, so you won't see any of that old like <laughs> wallpaper that's there. Um, where our stove still is gonna go there. Um, our hood is gonna go here. My grave here, the only appliance that's in right now is the dishwasher. Our sink is in. The hole is cut for our faucet, but that's not hooked up yet. Sorry, the kids are upstairs with Mike and they are fighting. I have to tell you, the hardest part of all of this is having our home in literal chaos with two really little kids. We're all on top of each other, basically, like in our bedroom, because it's the only place we have a TV where we can watch. Um, and everybody's getting on everybody's nerves and <laughs> it's a little bit tough. So keep that in mind when renovating. But the wine fridge just went in today. There's going to be another little panel down there that like closes off that gap. Um, and the sconces went up. I'm still waiting for the wood shelves that are gonna get mounted here and some backsplash is gonna go in here as well. The only thing we're missing is the countertop for the peninsula here because when the countertops got put in today, actually this morning, um, the fabricator or whatever accidentally cut the slab just a hair too short. We're doing a waterfall here. Um, and so it wasn't lining up right. And so they made a mistake and they have to like redo it. They have to order a new slab. So that piece isn't coming until Wednesday now. That part will be done. <laughs> we put in lights up here and then we're putting these cutouts in here. Um, they're not super deep. As you can see, they're just gonna hold basically like little tchotchkes. I just thought it'd be nice to add some interest into the room. Our house is literally just a disaster. <laughs> a disaster. I think I'd show you some kitchen progress while everybody is at lunch right now. Um, I think the last time I showed the kitchen, we had counters there, but not here on the island or the peninsula rather. So here it is, it came today and we have a little waterfall there and it is glorious. I was worried that this wouldn't be enough space to walk through, but it's plenty of space to walk through and it, it is really pretty. I mean, I personally like, I probably wouldn't have done the waterfall. That was like something that Mike really, really, really wanted <laughs> just because of how our kitchen is. Like you don't really even see it. Um, like if that wall wasn't there and we put it on that side and you could see it from the living room, then I think it would make sense. So for me, personally, this was a little bit of a waste of money, but my husband loves it <laughs> and he's happy and I did it for him. So, you know, in the grand scheme of making your partner happy, it wasn't a waste of money, I suppose. So some of the hardware started to go on can see we've got our drawer pulls. I had to order extra. They just came in yesterday because I decided I wanted to do two on each. I don't know why I didn't think two on each to begin with because they're so big. Backsplash is being worked on today. So this is our backsplash. Here's a good example. This is not on the wall. It has like a sheen to it. It has like a pearlescent sheen to it. It's kind of beigey, and then it has a pearlescent sheen. So it's definitely different. Um, it's from Tile Bar if you're interested and I absolutely love it. Lighting fixtures are in. 
And then we're just, we have to put the one sconce up there. Guys, I'm so excited. The time has finally come. All of the construction is finished and I can show you our finished kitchen. Um, all in all, the project ends up taking longer than the two weeks that we were initially quoted by the contractor. It took three weeks. There were some snafus along the way. Um, emotions ran high at certain times. <laughs> um, it's a little bit difficult to live in a construction site. Um, and then, you know, just different things that happen. Um, the chandelier came broken. Uh, and I was so excited for that chandelier that I had to pick a different light fixture. My shelves took forever to come in from Etsy. Like, a whole bunch of things, but all in all, I really love the way everything turned out. Um, I spent all last weekend putting our stuff away, opening our new stuff, styling, organizing, and so everything is like literally done now and I could not be more pleased. So come with me, let me show you our brand new kitchen, dining, living room area. Five, four, three, two, one. I really, really feel like my vision for my kitchen kind of came to life here from everything from the countertops to the color of the cabinets to the really unique like pearlescent glaze on the backsplash and the herringbone pattern, the gold hardware and accents throughout the space. I just feel like it all looks so good together and it all came together to be exactly what I had envisioned for my dream kitchen. I'm not gonna lie, I feel very like grown up in this kitchen. This kitchen, when we first moved in this house, the cabinets skeeved me because they were like so old. The, the storage was god awful. Everything about this kitchen, I absolutely hated and just tolerated. <laughs> um, and so now to have what I would absolutely consider like my dream kitchen in this space. I'm just elated and I am so excited to be cooking in here. I actually like enjoy cleaning it up at the end of the day. <laughs> I love that we have like a proper like peninsula now with bar stools that the kids could sit at and I can talk to them while I'm like chopping up stuff and, and cooking and it's just, 
it's such a great family space for us and then to like entertain our loved ones. Hope you guys enjoyed be sharing the process of this renovation and what our new space finally looks like. Leave me any questions or comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.